One of the tools we use to both monitor and manage our networks is called SmokePing. SmokePing is a tool for measuring network delay and the variation in delay on network links and network services, such as HTTP or web services, DNS, SMTP, authentication services, and pretty much any other type of service you can imagine. The variation in the response time is known as jitter. What SmokePing is measuring is how long it takes a device to respond, but over time. For instance, if we query a device 20 times and it responds with a variation in time, this is known as jitter. The larger the variation it is, the more jitter there is. This is the same for services. If it takes one second to respond once, five seconds to respond the next time, 10 the next and two the next, that's quite a bit of jitter on a service. SmokePing provides a way to see how much jitter is present on a circuit or the variation in response times for other services. In addition, SmokePing allows us to define ranges on statistics and generate alarms around these types of delay in responses. Jitter can cause numerous issues. Services such as voice over IP, SSH, streaming video, DNS queries, and more are all affected by variations in delay or response time. There are multiple types of delay that exist on a network, and these include processing delay. This is decisions made about packets and updating packets as they traverse a route. Queuing delay, how long a packet waits if a link is busy. Transmission delay, how long to push the bits in a packet on the transmission media in use. That means how long for the packets to enter a physical network connection, such as a fiber optic cable, a wireless connection, or a standard ethernet connection. And propagation delay. That's the time required for a packet to propagate to the other end of a physical path. That means to travel to the other end of a physical path. Smoke ping will tell you when there is a variation in delay, but not exactly where the delay or the variation is taking place or why. If you are measuring jitter on a circuit and see unexpected round trip times or unexpected variation in round trip times, you can use additional tools to figure out at what point or points problems are taking place. For instance, there are tools such as packages as perf sonar, MTR, or simply pinging each point in a path in order to figure out where the delay is taking place. For service delays, you may need to dig deeper onto the box where the service is running and see if the server, for instance, is overloaded. Problems with lack of CPU, RAM, disk, etc. So SmokePing lets you know that jitter and delay is happening so that you can resolve the issue. You still need to dig deeper and find out why. Without measuring for jitter and delay, you may not be aware that it is happening on your network and that there is an issue. One example where this can be very critical is with the delay in response time of your DNS server for your organization. If responses are more than a few milliseconds, then you may want to consider using a local caching server to speed up DNS query response times in order to make your network look more responsive. A slow DNS server can make a fast network appear slow to the end users. So how does SmokePing work? Let's take a classic example of measuring ICMP delay from where SmokePing is installed to a remote host or network device. SmokePing will send multiple tests, pings. It'll make a note of the round trip time, it'll order these, and it will select the median round trip time among all of the pings. SmokePing does this once every five minutes and it sends 20 ICMP echo requests, pings each time. These are the fault values and they can be overridden and adjusted as you wish. This data is stored in a file with a fixed size called a round robin database file or an RRD file. So that once you configure what you are monitoring, no additional disk space is used by SmokePing. The different values of round trip time are shown graphically, as you can see here, with lighter and darker shades of gray. This is called the smoke, thus smoke ping. This conveys the idea of variable round trip times or jitter. The number of lost packets, if there are any lost packets, changes the color of the horizontal line across the graph. And you can see the different colors based on the number of lost packets. In this manner, you can quickly look at the graphs that SmokePing produces 
to see if there's much variation in response times for the items you are measuring. Smoke Ping is simple and quick to install, very lightweight and used by the smallest to the largest organizations on a worldwide basis. It's definitely one of the core tools in use today for monitoring and managing a network. For details on installing and configuring SmokePing, as well as some history and details on how it's built, please see the references provided.